Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I'm here today to just share with you some of my favorite food items that I absolutely love. Now usually on this channel we are delivering groceries. If you've been following me on this fitness journey I've been working out and just trying to be a stronger and better me. Now before all of this got started uh, me and my husband decided that we were going to cut out red meat, we we're going to cut out dairy, all of that great stuff. So now we are dairy free and pretty much living a pescatarian lifestyle living off of salmon and um, tilapia. But I'm just gonna share with y'all some of the other things that we do have in the fridge that we just reach for. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. The first thing I'm gonna share is breakfast uh, items. This is one of my favorites right here and this is the Light Life. It is plant-based bacon and it actually tastes pretty good. You know, I, I'm a real big fan of bacon and I, it, it took a lot for me to just let that go because my favorite brand was Wright's Bacon. But this right here, if you cook it up pretty good, it kind of reminds you of the texture of like a turkey bacon, but not so much, but it's still pretty good. So yeah, this is Light Life and then it gives you five grams of protein so and 40 calories. And it's actually, it's, it's not that bad so i like it and that says a lot because i'm very picky about some of the things that i eat all right so next is my absolute fave and these are the kodiak pancake waffle mix if y'all haven't checked out my video where i made the waffle to show y'all you know how this all goes down then check out that video i'm gonna link it down in the description below or up here in the cards but whatever just check that out these are absolutely good. Now they're a little bit expensive. They're a little bit pricier than your regular old uh, whoever make, who be making pancakes? I don't even know no more because we've been eating these so long, but they're actually pretty good. And this one right here is the whole wheat, oat and honey. So we just add water. I put a little vanilla and some cinnamon in here to kind of zhuzh this up. Honey, these are real, real good. I love it. And then to pair with that, I use this, which is the Smucker's sugar-free, uh, the breakfast syrup. So that's what it says, breakfast syrup, but syrup, y'all. So this right here and this right here, bussin', straight bussin'. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? Next, I'm gonna uh, show y'all these Beyond Breakfast Sausage Patties. These things right here are so freaking good to me. Let me just tell y'all. For them to be plant-based, no pork and all of that, I promise you they taste just like one of those Jimmy Dean sausages that you get with the little sausage biscuit thing. It kind of tastes just like that. Now I've tried the, um, I've tried the Morning Star um, breakfast sandwich, I mean breakfast patties, sausage patties. I don't really like them. It's, it's something about that texture. But these right here, these right here, y'all, these be blessing. I'm talking about these be straight up blessing. Like, I ain't even lying. If I had to choose between this bacon or these, I would choose these all day. And I probably have like four or five boxes of these. They're a little expensive. Although, you know, most things, for some strange reason, all the healthy food is expensive. And these right here are almost $5. And it's only six in a box. So, yeah, get your hands on some. They have them at Publix. I don't know about nothing else. Um, they may have them at Walmart too. I don't know, H-E-B, some all of these places, but I know for sure that they are at Publix and I love them, so. All right, the next thing I'm gonna share with you is these uh, Dave's Killer English Muffins. Now, I love the Dave's brand. Now, usually we used to eat Martin's bread and I'm talking about the potato bread used to be blessing. I don't know if y'all know about the potato bread from Martin's, but is actually good. But I was looking, I was watching something and somebody had some um, some Dave's killer bread. So I was like, okay, you know what? You know what, it was Tabitha Brown. She, it might not even been Tabitha, but she had some type of whole wheat bread and she was making this sandwich with it. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try some of that. And I had been seeing this bread in the stores, but I was like, eh, I don't know about all that. So usually we used to get the, um, the Thomas brand English muffins, but now 
Dave's Killer uh, Bread brand or whatever it is. They have English muffins as well. So I just got these. I hadn't tried them yet, but I know that we're probably gonna love them because we love English muffins anyway. And then like I said, the Dave's Killer Bread brand is pretty good because we have right here, this is the bread that, um, that I saw that made me go out and get it. And it is absolutely good and I didn't think that I would like it being that it's real whole grain not not necessarily uh whole wheat bread this is like whole grain seeds all that um it gives you five grams of protein five grams of uh, fiber and 22 grams of whole grains now the sugar in this is like five grams but hey I deal with that I deal with a little five grams of sugar if I'm gonna get everything else that's in this bread so we have this which is the sandwich bread we have the English muffins from uh, Dave's Killer Brand. And then we have the hamburger buns as well. And these right here, they, uh, they might not look too appealing to you, but these right here, my husband said that they're good. As you see, we only he's only eaten one out of here so far. I just got them, but I haven't tried them yet, but I am gonna have a sandwich with them. So yeah, uh, now as far as the carbs, eh, you know, it's, I guess these are considered good carbs. I'm just trying not to eat a whole lot of white bread. You know what I'm saying? So I think that this is a good alternative, uh, especially for me, you know, because I can't cut out bread. That's just a hard thing to do. So moving right along, we're going to roll right into, well, no, we're going to stick right here for a minute because these are considered breakfast to me because I do eat these in the morning sometime right before workout. But usually I used to love um, Granny Smith green apples, but these right here, these honey crisp, happy bee honey crisp, a sweet light honey, juicy crisp, and tart. Mmm, <laughs> honey, these apples right here, they small, but baby, they good. You hear me? I'm talking about they're really, 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 really good. So it gives you that that good, you know, like some like the, the red delicious apples. They're kind of salty. It, these right here give you this that good balance of sweet and tart and crunchy. Just it's good. It, but yeah, that's the apples, honey. They are good. Like if you love Granny Smith, you're gonna love these. I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. I love me some coffee. Let me let me get the brand. This is the one that I usually I usually have. This is the coffee brand that I love. It is the medium roast, original blend, this right here. And this right here, let me tell you, I was in public and I was just, you know, trying to find some dairy-free creamer because I was just like, Ugh. you know, I, I used to love Starbucks, but I know I needed to cut that out because all that sugar and it was dairy. So I'm standing in the little uh, aisle where this is, in the little cooler, and this little old lady, she came, she picked this up for me. She said, if you're gonna get any coffee creamer, you need to get this. And I tell you, she wasn't lying at all because this right here, y'all don't even need no sugar in your coffee or stevia, you don't need none of that. Shake this up real good. When I tell you it's good and creamy, you think you'll have your nice little uh, cappuccino frap, mocha latte, all of that. This right here, blessing. It is the Silk brand, dairy free. And make sure you have the sweet and creamy because they do have another one. I don't think we have, yeah. My husband used to get this one right here. My husband used to get this, which was vanilla. Honey, throw, throw this one in the trash. If you got this one, throw this one in the trash and get yourself some of this right here. Get yourself some of this sweet and creamy, silk, almond creamer, dairy free. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so next is, I love, um, we, my husband used to do a lot of juicing and all of that, like with celery juice and beet juice and all of that, but Lately he hadn't had time and I don't know how to do it. So I've been getting this right here and this is some organic pure beet juice and it's actually pretty good. It has like a little hint of lemon juice down in there, but this is good. So I just take a shot of this in the mornings if I can remember, but most of the time, yeah. In the morning time, I take some of this in a little um, like a condiment cup one of these cups like this right here. One of these cups right here. Pour this up with some beet juice. 
You know what, matter of fact, because I ain't had none today, so I'm gonna go ahead on and get me a little bit right now, honey. Shot, 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 shot. Everybody shot. <laughs> I love it. So, I never thought that I would be one to love beet juice. I used to see it all. When we were in school, they used to have beets. You know, like the real full beet. I was like, everybody want it. I thought it was cranberry sauce. <laughs> so, now I'll take me some um, beet juice, some celery juice, some carrot juice. I'll do all of that. And it's not bad at all. So, get yourself some of this, especially if you are, you have low blood, you're anemic or something like that, drink you some beet juice, you'll be good to go. Mm. Woo. All right, rolling right along, rolling right along. Where my uh, egg whites? Oh, for breakfast, I have egg whites, just some basic old egg whites. Um, nothing special, just some of these right here. Just some egg whites from Bob Evans and then, we have, this is the cheese that I use a lot. It's either this brand or this brand. And this is the Violife. This one is there. This one right here, it says it melts just like cheddar cheese and they ain't lying. This right here melts really, really good. Sometimes it's really hard to get some cheese, some vegan cheese or dairy-free cheese to melt, but this one right here, it melts really, really, really good. Um, and then this one right here is made with chickpeas. So, you know, you pick your poison, whichever one you like. If you try them out, let me know in the comments. Come back to this video and let me know. Um, it's nothing special to talk about with these. It's just, you know, it's dairy free. Uh, free from soy, gluten, lactose, nuts, preservative, all of that. So if you are if you love cheese and you just have to have cheese, and that's me, I just have to have some cheese try these right here and they also have they have the sandwich slices just like this so and then when we want to have a bagel this is what we use and this is the kite hill cream cheese kite hill cream cheese is really really good i never thought that i would like it because of the texture the texture of it is kind of like it's kind of weird but it's good once you put it on the uh on the toast on the bagel or whatever it's good and their kite hill yogurt is really really good too i use that when i'm making my um alfredo that's good like really good i love tuna i already just told y'all that a pescatarian lifestyle trying that and it's really not bad but this right here these i love this is the star kiss tuna creations the sweet and spicy one love it Pair it up with some of this here vegan mayo and put your sweet relish in there, you know. Mix it up just like you would your tuna salad. It's all good. These right here, these pouches are the bomb. I have, I love these. I love the um, lemon pepper one. I love the hickory smoke. And I've been wanting to try, and, and the ranch. I wanted to try the jalapeno one that they have, but my husband was like, uh, I don't know about that. Let's just stick to what we do. So this one right here is my absolute fave. My husband, he loves the uh, lemon pepper one. So yeah. Throw it on some crackers, honey, or throw it on you a nice, uh, that Dave's killer bread for a sandwich with your little tomato. Mmm. Blessing. You hear me? Straight up blessing. I wouldn't tell you. No lie. Woo. All right. So, uh, whenever I want to have a salad, I'm, and I absolutely love Caesar salads. It's just something about Caesar salad. I just love it. Mm. This is what I use when I want to have a salad. And although I know that the Caesar salad is supposed to have Caesar dressing, but it's hard to find a good dairy-free Caesar. So this is what I use. And this is the Hidden Valley Plant Powered Dairy-Free Ranch. So I had got this other one that I had went to Target to get. And it wasn't giving what I needed it to give. Like it wasn't giving what I needed it to give. This is what I went, I thought I was getting this and I got this. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna have to see what, what this is all about because I don't know about all of that. I needed something like this right here. So this right here is basically like a, uh, it says Primal Kitchen. It's a dressing and marinade made with avocado oil. But I needed something like this right here to eat my celery, my carrots and stuff like that with 
So this was in, I think this was in Target. No, this was in Publix as well. This was in Target. Now, as far as seasonings, when I'm cooking with seasonings and stuff like that, I usually do not use any salt, but if I do want a little bit of salt, I'll use this right here, which is the Slap Your Mammy, or I'll use the Complete Seasoning from Badia. But this one right here is really, really good because it gives you a little bit of heat, give you that Cajun, you know, that Cajun feel. But when I'm just straight up, just not wanting no salt or anything like that, and I usually use this like on my um, uh, when I do like a breakfast sandwich with the with that bacon that I just showed y'all with the uh, egg white on toast, tomato, a little uh, avocado, sprinkle some of this on top of it. Mm. This is good. This is the Mrs. Dash, the table blend, salt free. My cousin told me about this right here, so I went out and got it and I haven't put it down since I got it. It pretty much has everything that you need in it from the uh, dry onion, it has celery seed, basil, bay leaf, marjoram, oregano, thyme, mustard, cumin, rosemary, cayenne pepper, coriander, dried garlic, dried orange peel, everything, the, everything in the kitchen sink plus the table. So I guess that's why they call it the table blend because you get it all. But you know me, I have to still have a little bit more um, garlic powder because I love garlic so if you're looking for a good seasoning without salt this right here is your go-to if you're looking for something with a little bit of salt in it this one right here is pretty good and this one right here is definitely good all right uh, when i want to have dessert this is what i've gotten and this is the so delicious brand it's dairy free it's like the little ice cream sandwiches and it's made with uh, vanilla bean, coconut milk, and this is how, this is one of them right here. This is how big it is. So, it's 100 calories, but they, they do what they needed to do. They give what I needed to give when I have my little sweet tooth, and I have that quite often. So, uh, these are good. These are really, really good. Dairy-free ice cream sandwiches. And then the other day, I was in Tar I was in Publix, and I saw this right here, which is the Daya uh, Dairy-Free Cheesecake. I don't know what I was doing down that aisle, but I knew I shouldn't have been down there anyway. I ended up getting this and I cut a little bit uh, the other night. It was actually pretty good. I didn't even cut like a full slice, but it's good, y'all. It's really, really good. I wouldn't tell y'all no lie. Uh, the New York Cheesecake is good. Dairy free. Throw you some blueberries on there, some strawberries or something like that. Cha. Cha. Talk about something good. Oh, yes, ma'am. All right, so we're rolling right along to ground beef. Ground beef, right? This is my ground beef. This is what I've been using in place of ground beef. This is the Beyond Beef Plant Based Ground Something. <laughs> when they say that this is a new meteor, meteor taste, it is. It really tastes good. It, 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 it tastes good. So, um, I've been loving it. We've been getting a lot of this and actually um, it's so expensive. It's almost like nine dollars for this just this little pack right here at Publix. So yeah, that's what we've been getting. And then these right here, the black bean burgers, Morning Star. These are really, really good. I love them. Um, the only thing is they're real thin compared to the Impossible Burgers that we usually buy. But these right here, they do the job. You throw a little avocado on them. You know, I'm a fan of avocados. I'm a fan of mushrooms. I put avocado mushrooms on this thing. What else I put on there? I might throw a little kale, some kale on there, but definitely some mushrooms, some red onions, and some um, avocado. With this right here, toast your bread up pretty decently, and that's that. You have yourself a nice old sandwich, so. Y'all tell me if you've tried these, do you like them? This is the spicy black bean one and they're, they're actually not really spicy at all. So, and that says a lot for me because I don't like hot, hot food like that, but these right here are really, really good. I've been doing a lot of grocery shopping, the shopping and delivery with Spark. So I've been seeing that the chicken aisle has been like bare. So this is the chicken that hubby and I have been eating it is meatless chicken strips. 
we eat these in our wraps or we eat it with some rice or you know stir fried up with some uh, with some peppers like some red peppers some bell peppers yellow and orange bell peppers uh some onion throw a little kale over in there you know put a little dairy-free parmesan cheese you have yourself a nice little something something going on some teriyaki sauce you know you can do whatever it's kind of like those uh tyson chicken you know when you buy that to put it into your salads or something like that they already cut that's how this is so you just cook them up for about five six minutes throw you some um throw you a little bit of your table blend on there or some of your slap your mammy if you want to turn that heat up just a little bit and this right here is blessing i'm telling you um we like to put them in our caesar salad as well so we have like a chicken caesar salad it tastes like grilled chicken after you do all you after you dress it up and make it real for yourself these are good so if you are in the market for trying to find you some chicken but not chicken try these my next little snack that i love I got these from Publix. Now, if you didn't see my Publix vlog where I was shopping at Publix, I got these while I was in there. So they have a whole lot of little snack items. And these right here are the plant-based mini crab cakes. And they say that they are flaky mini plant-based bites with a crispy crunch that's swimming in flavor. They're not lying. These are actually really, really good. Um, it doesn't take long at all to cook them. We cook them back here in the uh, in our air fryer, right back there, and they actually taste good. Um, now, the other things that I had bought, let me just show y'all. These right here, trash. Straight garbage. I should have left these where they were. Grab you some of these. If you see these somewhere, pick them up. These are good. I'm telling you, they are absolutely good. And um, it's nine grams of protein and it's only 140 calories. So like I said, these are really, 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 really good. Put your little lemon juice on them, you know, squeeze a little lemon juice on them and just, pff, I tell you they good, they are good. How am I about to forget to tell y'all about these here? Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. All right, so these are my brands right here. I love Bonza pasta, period. It's chickpea pasta. They have uh, penny pasta. They have rotini. They have bow tie. All of that. Chickpea pasta. And it's not like, because I am a fan of pasta. I've been, I just finished working out and I just feel like my mouth is so dry. Mm. Anyway, you can have this pasta right here guilt free because it's not real pasta. It's chickpea. Now, this right here comes with the cheese sauce, like the Velveeta macaroni and cheese in the box. We don't use the cheese sauce. My husband make, make, uh, make up his own with the cheeses that we have here that I told y'all about. He make up his own with this, but we just use this right here because lately they have been out of pretty much all of the pasta, especially in Publix anyway. But um, yeah, this is good. The mac and cheese is good, but this right here, this is a full-fledged box of dairy-free mac and cheese like from this is not i don't think this is chickpea pasta per se but the cheese sauce that's in here is definitely dairy-free as opposed to this one so but you definitely will get a lot of flavor you will get dairy-free cheese sauce and it'll have you feeling like you got you some good macaroni and cheese now you want to sprinkle your little bit of uh, slap your mama on there or some complete or some of that table blend to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. Other than that, this is good. This is good, y'all. One of my other little snacks that I've been wanting to try and they're actually pretty good. This is Cool Ranch. Now, when you first bite into it, it's like, mm -mm, no ma'am. But you keep chewing, just keep chewing. It has a lot of flavor in it. They're really, really light. Let me just show y'all. That's what it looked like. And they got the little cheese. It kind of look, y'all. Look like a bud, don't it? <laughs> look like a little bud. But um, this is it. It had it looked like it has like little specks of cheese on it. Mm, 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 All right, last thing, 
this right here everybody should already be up on these right here back in the day i used to kill these and i got off of them for whatever reason i don't know but these right here are so bomb whenever i want to feel like i'm having a sprite because i love sprite I, this is my go-to. They have to be good and cold. I get this one. This is the coconut pineapple and then I like the peach nectarine. Sometimes I might do the strawberry lemonade, but the peach nectarine and the coconut pineapple is definitely my go-to one. Hands down, period. Get them good and cold. You'll think you're drinking a 7-Up or Sprite ginger ale something. And before I close this out, let me just tell y'all, if y'all ain't already drinking this water right here, I don't even know what y'all doing with y'all life. Like, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Get yourself some of this right here. All water do not taste the same, so don't even come for me in my comments talking about all water tastes the same. No, it don't. If you have ever drunk some of this right here and try to drink some other water, you will definitely know the damn difference. Like, immediately. This water right here is so freaking good. It's the alkaline water, 8.8 .8 pH. It's good, y'all. It is so good. Throw you some lemon off in there if you feel like you just can't drink water. But I tell you, this right here is so freaking just crystal clear, clean tasting, just like Jesus himself brought this water down here for us to drink. This is some good water. Now it's pretty expensive. In Publix it's like almost $5 a gallon, but uh, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Most of the time Publix have it, buy one, get one free. So if you ever catch it, you know, if they don't have small bottles, they don't have it in a 12 pack, none of that. You can't get it in there. It only comes like this. So I'm telling y'all, if you're not drinking this, if you're not drinking this water right here, I don't know what you're doing. I don't even know what you're doing with life. I don't even know how you're carrying on through your day. How, how, how Sway? How, how, how? These are questions I need answered. How, how are you carrying on your day? If you don't have this in your life. Now, now, feature water is good too now. I will say, feature water is good. That's my second best when I can't get my hands on that. On this, I will do some Fiji. But other than that, I don't want nothing else. Don't bring me no great value water. Don't bring me none of that. I don't want it. I don't want it. If you can squeeze a bottle like this and it's making all that noise, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. That is it, guys. Those are some of my favorite things that I reach for outside of my vegetables because like I said I have to have me some mushrooms um, baby Bella it doesn't even matter just as long as there's some mushrooms I have to have it give me some mushrooms some onion bell peppers some kale and we in there we're in there so I hope that y'all enjoyed this video uh, if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know if you've tried any of this that I've uh, shown you today or if you're willing to try any of it but yeah, that is it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.